so today we are going to be going for somewhat of a Cotswold rally but with a different Porsche group to Porsche GV. This Porsche group is called T uh, Tribal Porsche which is I think mainly off Instagram but that's how I came across them at least. So we've, we're part of a WhatsApp group, there should be over 150 cars now. Uh, we're just heading down the road to Molly's Diner and uh, we're going to see, see who's there. Upon arrival, we had a quick look at the car park and then headed in for some breakfast and a coffee. We're away, we've got the roof down. We got the roof down. We're all leaving Molly's now. It's quite a big turnout, so uh, yeah, we're gonna get going. Uh, off to our next location. So there's plenty of nine, 987s, here you go. Oh, on the lobster claws as well, after you. That's the tribal Porsche 987 there. Oh, another 987, everyone's got 987s. We're on the road. Now this is our first big car meet, just coming into spring. Oh, bit slippery there. Here we go. Gripping up, gripping up. There we go. Woo! We're away. The fog is going and we're off to Diddley Squat, I think. Look at that. As we arrived at Clarkson's Farm, the car park filled up incredibly quickly as we met another group from Tribal Porsche who had met at a different location in the morning. So we've made it to Clarkson's Farm. Everyone is piling in. The old barn as well so we're gonna have a little look around see what it's like up here we quickly stopped for a look around the farm shop to see what clarkson had on offer <laughs> i mean clarkson's farm as a whole is as you would have seen on the show it is just it is just a shed so uh, I think it's just a pit stop for people in the area just to check it out and see what it's, what it's like on the TV. Oh yeah, people are heading out already. So we're just leaving Clarkson's farm now. We've only been here for have a little look around. I mean, I'll probably pop back here in another video so if you subscribe, just when it's not as busy, but the car park is absolutely mate. But yeah, we're out. So we're on convoy to Caffeine the Machine now. It's about half an hour from Clarkson's farm, so if you were going to try and replicate this road trip, it's easily done with you and your mate. I'll put the route in the description.
so we made it following this uh, it's nine to eight which actually is insane it's a dp racing i've just had speaking to the owner it's absolutely insane car i i mean i don't remember all the specs of it but uh, something similar to crema racing did the front and it's a rolls royce color i don't know if you can see that with the blue fleck in it but that's insane but yeah super busy all different Porsches that you can see we've got it's Joel showed up in the KN which is very cool I'd quite like to uh, maybe have one of them as daily sometime but a lot of 987s today which I've been thinking about selling it but after seeing how popular they are and especially getting in mine on such a nice day I started to reconsider selling it we've got rolling slow media as well which I've been having a good chat with him in the 997 which these are absolutely insane these are cool especially with the aero kit as well look at that we've also got some older stuff some pretty punchy colors let's just have a little walk around see what we've got so there's a lot of especially in 986s 987s there's a lot of oh just all Porsches a lot of silvers so for a few grand you can get a respray and seeing Miami blue like this Viper Green, I'm getting a lot of inspiration. But I've got to say, potential, my favorite, one of my favorite Porsche colors, mint green. This shouldn't be parked at the back. But as you can see, silver, 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 black. Mint green is absolutely insane. GTS cab. Oh, we're here just outside the front and and Taylor from Auto Alex has showed up in his Brera just over there. But we've got a right mix. And it is also an Italian day here. Oh. Hence the Maserati. He's got an MC20 there. And the new Pura Sangue. <laughs> next to the Speciale and all that. So uh, with the order bar. So we've got a 996. C4S. You can see just there that it's got an old racing wheel in it. See, if I were to go 911, that is probably what I'd be going for because I think these are great value for money at the moment. Bit of a modern classic. I think you won't lose much money on them unless an engine rebuild was involved, which I'm a bit hesitant about now, but. There you go. So for my next Porsche, these are the two that I'd be considering actually. C4S or 981 Boxster. A bit of reliability, but it's a Boxster or a classic 911. It's been quite a few 944s in the convoy. Obviously representing the classics. Not sure if I'd ever get a 944, but this is interesting. Interesting colour, orange on yellow, with the custom badge as well. That's cool. Another 987 representing. And then we've got this Porsche here. Tell me the model. Porsche. Just an honorary Porsche for the day. The MX-5.
Slipping. Slipping. <laughs> yeah, my wheels are covered in moss. But I think that was quite a successful visit to Cafe the Machine. There were a lot of Porsches there, almost overrun the place. So we're just going to head back now. But I think in terms of meats, yeah, it was good. Really good turnout few familiar faces there so um, I'm gonna head back call it a day there are one or two bits that I do need to get sorted on this car so subscribe for that and uh, I'll see you in the next video